Hey, fellas. Uh, been a rough week. Been working on the wings. And if you saw the uh, last video, the wings were in pretty rough shape. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. The uh, I'm really happy with, with uh, the way the top of them looks. The bottom of them leaves a little bit to be desired, a bit to be honest with you. You know, I've, I've been working on them pretty much. That's what I've done all week. And uh, <laughs> I probably got 40 hours. I don't keep track of my hours, but I would guess probably 40 hours in just the wings. It was a lot of sanding. That resin that I put on to plug up the, the dimples, it was tough to sand. I, I, I've never tried to sand that resin. I usually use it for dioramas. And it's it's not the exact resin that they they used on the kit. And this was clear stuff, and I don't know, but it was like super hard. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll show you those. I have gotten a little uh, uh, some other stuff done on it, and this this build, you know, I thought it was going to be challenging, but it seems like every every time that I I go on to a, a, a next step, they're all new challenges. You know, we're trying to trying to get parts to fit and how I'm going to work things and structurally how it's going to hold up because I'm putting this one on a stand in flight. That's how I normally build them for the guy that I'm building this for. And so that, you know, throws another set of challenges in. How am I going to get this to, to uh, you know, hold up on, on, on a rod? Am I going to use two rods? Am I going to use, you know, three, one? And, uh, you know, I think I've settled on just using one rod and I'm just going to reinforce the heck out of the inside. Uh, and then there's the matter of the wings, which are really heavy because the, uh, you know, the wing root area is all resin and those are just big slabs of resin. And then I've got the fragile part of the, the plastic kit part of the plane that, you know, is going to gonna bend and torque once I put the wings on. So I've got all those challenges. Uh... So, I don't know. This is uh, this is going nowhere. <laughs> but uh, I'll get to, uh, I'll, I'll kind of show you what I've been doing and what I've been thinking, and then uh, show you what the wings look like. I'll throw in I throw in a segment on how I rivet my wings and uh, how I'm going to rivet the rest of the plane. So uh, let's take a look. Okay. So let's take a look at the cockpit area first. Now, I'm pretty much good to go. I've tried a couple different uh, methods of putting window glass in there. I used Bondic, which is a UV light glue, and uh, that really didn't work out. Uh, what else did I use? I used something else, but it just uh, it didn't it didn't work out. So I'm going to have to try to figure figure that out, and I've still got time to think about it. So, uh, but I do have the the kit windows in. And, you know, those just glued in with my, to me, extra thin. What happened over here is I had, you know, based on my reference picks, I put the windows in this configuration, and I pretty much did the same on this side. And then once I got to double checking based on the reference picks, uh, I found that it wasn't the same configuration. There were two windows back here instead of, you know, two up here. So I just ended up filling that in and then cutting another window. Uh, what I've also done is I've also closed off the cockpit area. And I've got, and you probably won't be able to see, but I've got some sponges. You can kind of see right there. I put sponges in there. And I want to pretty much compartmentalize as much as I can. Because... Uh, once I get this together, I'm going to be sanding. There's going to be resin dust. There's just going to be all kinds of dust. So I want to, I want to uh, keep keep uh, dust out of places that uh, they're going to have window glass. And obviously the cockpit's going to be one of those. So basically what I did is I cut a piece of plastic card, and then I epoxy this in to seal it off. And then I've got the sponges in here, and that's going to prevent dust from getting up in there into my cockpit area so I can go ahead and mask this off so when I'm doing all my sanding I'm not going to have to try to clean that out and then once I get my window glass in there everything should be sealed up and there shouldn't be any uh, foreign material in there to get uh, mess up my my uh, clear parts so that's kind of what I'm thinking there 
Uh, I've got the main part of the fuselage and I've got my blisters in and those went in without a problem. Like in my last video you saw how I was going to put those in and uh, I ended up using two part epoxy on to affix the blister to the actual plastic part and you're probably not going to be able to see much but I used some of the resin the uh, the resin stuff and the resin guns that the uh, resin manufacturer supplied and I kind of just tried to go by what I saw in the pictures I don't have a whole lot of detail in there but again you're gonna have uh, three windows up here so I don't know how much of it you're actually gonna see then what I did is I took uh, my real thin 0 0.01 plastic card the kind of paper stuff I painted the inside of it green and I ended up gluing it around here to enclose these blisters so this should be all sealed up in here that way when I'm doing my sanding and stuff I'm not going to get dust up in there because I'm not going to be able to get to it if, if that would happen uh, also what I did is I ended up taking white glue in where I had glued my plastic card on here to make this this uh, little metal area inside where the gun pivots uh, I took some white glue and I just so put put white glue down in there so that's going to help uh, keep that adhered to the clear part and then I took Mr. Servicer 500 and I put it in there and uh, I also if we can zoom in took little round uh, tubes of plastic uh, where they, I don't know I've got I got a bunch of different diameters of, of plastic tubing and I Based on the reference pictures, uh, there's kind of like a where the barrel comes out, there's kind of like a shroud. So I cut tubing out, glued them in there, and then I filled those with two part epoxy putty. And what I'm going to do is when I get ready to put the model together, I'm just going to drill out holes where these little gun barrels are going to fit right here. And then that way the owner can glue them in and insert them. And uh, I didn't have to drill through that little plastic part. So that's kind of what I did with that. So everything's all sealed up. What I'm also planning on doing is once I get these together, I've got kind of like a firewall back in there. And I'm going to insert my rod. I'll probably use a half inch acrylic rod drill a half inch hole right here and push it up in here now since this is you know not real sturdy plastic you know it's model kit plastic and I've got these heavy wings gonna be you know attached in here I'm going to put a piece of plastic card up in here and basically form a box where I'm gonna put some of my magic sculpt putty in there or milliput and basically create a nice sturdy area for which I can drill into and which will uh, I can insert the the acrylic rod into and that should give me a nice stable base <clears throat> also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you know plastic card up here and I think what I'm gonna have to do let me grab one of the wings I think I'm going to be able to paint the wings separately from the plane and glue these on last. So what my plan is, is I've got this little thing right here that goes in and one on the other side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these where I want them and then I'm going to fill in this void up here with Milliput. And what that's going to do is give me a solid area where these wings are attached because I'm going to have the the milliput on the bottom and then the milliput up there in that top so then what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to insert this and it's not going to be able to torque up and down and uh, I think that will give me a nice solid area which to glue so I'll have uh, my my uh, two-part epoxy right there and inside so that should be strong enough and that way it's not going to be torquing on the, the plastic part. 
So that's my plan anyway. We'll see how it works out. Alrighty. <clears throat> now, I am no expert in riveting, but I do have a riveting tool. And I've got these Rovi the, uh, Rosie the Riveters, and I think I've shown them on another video. But uh, in my opinion, I've got a couple different ones. I've got the trumpeter riveting tool, and I, I just didn't like it. Uh, these Rosie the Riveters, I think, are, are probably the best. They're kind of pricey. I think they're like 20 bucks a piece, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the .075, and I am not a rivet counter, but I'm counting rivets right now. And I'm trying to get close to, to uh, like a blueprint that I have of the B24. I couldn't find one that showed all the rivet lines on the privateer, but I, uh, I did find one on the on the B24, so that's kind of what I'm trying to copy. And from the pictures I've seen, there are a ton of rivets on this uh, privateer. So basically what I'm doing, I've got, I'm gonna use two different strips of tape, widths of tape. I've got the 10 millimeter, and then to me a six millimeter. Now whether or not this is all exactly correct, I doubt it, but uh, it's gonna look close. So basically what I'm doing, is I've got I've got my rivets already put down on this portion of the wing and uh, and then I've got I'm gonna go up and down on this section right here and then across and I'm using the 10 millimeter for my vertical uh, vertical rivets and then my horizontal rivets are gonna be the six millimeter so basically I just go strip by strip and how I want to work this it's got two sides you've got the rivet wheel on one side and then like a nut on the other so I always keep this side visible because if I go like here if, if I use this side to go down the line I can't it's hard for me to see where the the actual rivet wheel is but if I use if I use the rivet side to my eye, I can come in here and just go right along the tape, and I and I usually only go one pass because if you get your if you try to go back and forth, your rivets get can get off, and it's as simple as that. And I use depending on the material underneath, and because I've got changes in material, like I've got resin. I've got resin, uh, CA glue, and then plastic. From what I found, it, it, um, if, if you go over two different types of material, one may be softer than the other, and if you use the same amount of pressure, you're likely to push in and, and just kind of make a mess of it. Fortunately with this, they all seem to be pretty consistent, so I... Uh, I'm not having too many issues with that, at least on the other wing. And since I've got a coat of Mr. Servicer 500, which I've sanded, um, it kind of gives it a shell. So basically, this is just pushing down in and making the rivets in the, uh, in the primer coat. Now I'm avoiding taking the riveter over the panel lines. So I'll lift it up. Just like that. Now for the horizontal lines, what I'll do, I'm taking a 10 millimeter strip I'm going to place it perpendicular. We can get the other wing so I can kind of keep them somewhat similar. Now, I've already done the other wing, and I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know if we can see all those rivet lines. And it may not be 100% accurate, but I think it'll give the, the effect that I'm going for here. And as we can see, I'm still working on the bottom.
<laughs> it looks like a hot mess. I'm going to have to go and patch up and do a lot of stuff. But I just wanted to get the top done. That's going to be the main one that you see. I mean, I am going to work on this and, and get it looking a lot better. But uh, I really wanted to focus my attention and get the top part done. So I can kind of get this out of the way. But uh, as you can see here, the transitions went pretty well. I've got my plastic here. And then it goes into resin. And uh, it's not 100% perfect. But I think once it's painted, you're not going to notice that I even transition from plastic to resin. It's going to look like all one piece. So I'm going to take my, my six millimeter tape. And I'm just going to run it along here. Now what I can do, just take my riveting tool, and I want to avoid panel lines and then these little circular, which I assume are fuel caps. And I'm going to jump over those so I don't rivet over those. Just run it along here. Now I'm probably not going to put any more primer on this top portion because I don't want to I don't want to lose any of this uh, I don't want to lose much of this rivet detail by primering over it Okay, and I'll come back and I'll switch sides so I can keep this side of the Rosie the Riveter. Okay, and it's as simple as that. And I'll just keep repeating this pattern all the way down, all the way down the wing. All right, fellas, here are the wings, and I am pretty happy with how they turned out. When I went to scribe into the resin with my uh, real mm, fine scriber, they it seemed to... Uh, to dig in a little bit wider and deeper on the resin than it did the plastic. So, you know, it's just off just a little bit, but I think I can live with it. And I think once I get this painted with, uh, 
you know, with the, with all the colors, I think it will be fine. Now there are a few errors I probably still need to fix. There's a couple misscribed, but if you look down here, the resin for whatever reason did not want to scribe very well at all. It just looks horrible. Uh, I, I think I'll probably come back with a little bit of Mr. Servicer and try to fill those in and smooth them out. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. The bottom just wasn't that great. And, and uh, I mean, it does look <laughs> a lot better. I ended up cutting out these little things that were in the molded in the resin that were half broken off and just it chipped away. I assumed they were uh, exhaust or something. And I ended up just dremeling those out and then putting in some styrene tubing. Uh, see, you got my riveting detail down here. I didn't go as, as uh, hardcore as I did on the top. I ended up putting the uh, cutting out plastic card to match the shape for the uh, wheel wells or the uh, landing gear doors. And I think I got that pretty much the way I want it. And again, this is not perfect by any means. It almost... You know, now that I look at it, I'm real happy with it. But it is what it is. It's going to be on the bottom, and you're not going to see much of it. And uh, I think once it gets all painted and weathered, it's not going to be that bad. Now, one of the things that I did have to deal with, these, uh, where the engines are, I ended up gluing the, uh, the cowling flaps and this part on here. And it seemed like some of these weren't, the same as the others and I had to do a lot of a lot of sanding a lot of fitting and then I had to sand off and square off the the front of this portion to where they would be somewhat straight so there was a lot of fiddling with that and uh, getting them to where they were pretty close to one another and I think I got it pretty darn close now I ended up using my belt grinder and uh, and some files and I just worked the heck out of them. And uh, so what I'm going to end up having to do is I've got the engines painted up and I've got some wash on here right now that I need to wipe off. I ended up adding some wiring to these kit engines which were pretty much lackluster but uh, just to improve them a little bit. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to glue these in here and set them in and get them all aligned so that they're facing the appropriate direction so I don't have one that's tilted up and then one that's tilted down in order to put on in order to put on these and I gotta remember which way they go, but the bigger one might be down, I'm not sure. But in order to get put these on, I'm gonna have to have the engines installed. So I'm going to have to orient the engines correctly and put those in and then put these on before I paint. Which is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt because I'm gonna have to mask off the engines and yeah, that's never fun, but not that big of a deal when you compare it to the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> this build. So that's kind of where I'm at with the wings. Uh, let me flash up some pictures so you can get a closer look at, look at how it all turned out and uh, I will catch you on the next video.